Currently, within the United States, there are four leading causes for vision loss in the elderly. These include, one, age-related macular degeneration, two, glaucoma, three, cataract, and four, diabetic retinopathy. During the remainder of this talk, I will review each of these conditions, their associated symptoms, findings on exam, and management. First, I would like to discuss age-related macular degeneration, also referred to as ARMD or AMD. Within the United States, it is the most common cause of vision loss in the elderly. In age-related macular degeneration, there is loss of central vision with preserved peripheral vision. Risk factors include advanced age, usually greater than 70 years, fair skin, family history of macular degeneration, smoking, and heart disease. These images depict what it may be like to have macular degeneration. The photograph on the left is what a person with normal vision would see. Note the bright colors, central clarity, and intact peripheral vision. In the photograph on the right, however, there is a central area which is obscured, and surrounding that dark area, the vision is quite blurry as well. The colors remain relatively intact in the periphery. There are two types of age-related macular degeneration, dry and wet. Both can be diagnosed with a dilated fundus exam, which should be performed by an ophthalmologist at least on an annual basis. This slide depicts normal retina on the left, in which we see the optic nerve in the center, which is a circle, yellowish-orange in color. We can also see the blood vessel stemming from the optic nerve, the central part of the retina, called the macula. The photograph on the right depicts an eye with dry macular degeneration. Here, you can see that there are multiple yellow spots. These spots are called drusen. Drusen are deposits underneath the retina. As these spots coalesce, vision loss may develop. The progression of drusen tends to be quite slow over many years, though advanced stages of drusen may result in significant vision loss. This slide depicts wet macular degeneration. In this condition, vision loss is more sudden and severe, caused by acute bleeding under the retina. As you can see here, there is fresh blood in the macula. Along with blood, there is leakage of fluid, which leads to decreased vision. Usually, patients with many drusen are more at risk for wet macular degeneration. With regards to symptoms of macular degeneration, in the earlier stages, patients may have difficulty with reading or driving. When looking at straight lines, they may appear crooked or distorted. This image depicts what a person with visual distortion from macular degeneration may see when looking at a door. This slide demonstrates another example of visual distortion from age-related macular degeneration. As macular degeneration becomes more advanced, patients may develop a central blind spot with intact peripheral vision. With loss of central vision, independent living skills are significantly restricted, including reading, driving, and other myriad of tasks. This slide depicts how one may monitor for the changes associated with macular degeneration. This is called an Amsler grid. It is a card with a grid pattern and a central fixation target. This card should be held at reading distance of approximately 14 inches. One should look at the center dot with each eye, or one eye at a time. When looking at the central dot, one should be able to make out all four corners of the large square and all the smaller squares within. If there is any area of distortion, as we can see here, or a blind spot, also seen here, that may signify pathology within the retina, which may be macular degeneration. With regards to reducing the risk of macular degeneration or the progression of dry early macular degeneration to more severe vision loss from wet macular degeneration, monitoring vision daily with an Amsler grid is recommended. Also, it is recommended that the patient cease smoking and control other risk factors, including heart disease and monitoring of blood pressure. A diet high in fruits and vegetables also may help lower the risk, particularly those foods rich in antioxidants. It is also believed that certain supplements, such as lutein, 
zeaxanthin, resveratrol, and saffron may be beneficial in slowing the progression of dry macular degeneration. If age-related macular degeneration is diagnosed, one should follow up with a retina specialist on a regular basis for monitoring. Special testing may be necessary. Further treatments for macular degeneration are beyond the scope of this talk, though may include laser, injections, or other forms of therapy. Should you have further questions regarding macular degeneration, please be sure to ask your ophthalmologist or ask for a referral to a retina specialist.